Franz goes to Korea, and when he's in Korea, he's teaching them intercultural communication. And he gave the book to all of the top business leaders in the company. Five months later, he gets a fax. The fax says, thank you very much for your book. It was so good that we took your book, we translated it into Korean. He had a copyright on the book. It's his book. He wrote the book. What do you do? Sue them. Say that again. Sue them. Sue them. Talk to the person next to you. 15 seconds. Learn um, different the different school systems are here in U.S. compared to Denmark. The lessons we got. Uh, it's very difficult from home in Denmark. Yeah, it was really interesting. Uh, one of the best experiences is going on American school and uh, goes with American people and uh, all that stuff we don't have in Denmark. Of learning over here is, is pretty fun to experience at your own. Cultural classes. Um, I think it's very interesting to learn about the US culture. I think it's incredible what America has done uh, since the Independence Day and now they are a multicultural uh, community, and I admire that. The uh, courses where we uh, kind of got out of the uh, out of the school, like the history classes, where we went to the monument and went to see the uh, museum, where we kind of did something practical also instead of just sitting in class. At the school, it's kind of fun to see how you teach here and how the students are, well, what they're doing here. I like the culture classes. I had that at home too. So I had a bit background in about this, so I liked having that here too. The teachers and the people around is uh, very kind and have helping me a lot. Very different from our classes back in Denmark, so it's very interesting to see how the school life is here. We have these events called Explore Boston, where we invite all our hosts and our host families to uh, take their visitors and uh, do something with us all together. Yeah, and is this yellow piece of paper? Okay, so obviously in homestay you're going to be interacting a lot with your hosts, you're going to be doing a lot of things, hearing a lot of new words. So, number one rule, always, 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 is don't be afraid of your English level. But if you hear something that you think, oh, what is that? Maybe it's slang, maybe it's an idiom, maybe it's something you've not heard on television, okay? Your host wants to teach you new things. I didn't expect to see that many different cultures uh, uh, put together uh, at such a little space. Like in uh, the place I live, Wakefield, there's a lot of different cultures from all over the world. The most meaningful experience for me here was to learn the American people, um, stop have um, stereotypes about the American people, um, and just watching the movies. Um, I think it uh, was the community service where I um, made sandwiches for the homeless people and uh, when we were at the JFK library. In Boston it's, it's a big uh, city and there's a lot of well, homeless people and, and such things back in Denmark. I'm not used to that. Be home with the family and talk with them and you know they would never heard of Denmark and just have a conversation with them about everything, you know. We don't know each other, so that's just very exciting, I think. Bunker Hill is a nice uh, school and it's very nice to be here. I love the city, I think it's a very nice place, so. I also thought that we're, there would be more McDonald's and, yeah, fast food. And my whole family is a very nice family and I love to be there. It's a, he's a very kind man and a very funny man and he has helped us a lot and give us uh, good food and good place to sleep. I thought there would be um, more of the Native Americans, but uh, I see that there are a lot of immigrants and people from all over the world and yeah, so I think it's great to experience. It was uh, very interesting. I uh, made food to uh, people with AIDS and cancer, small uh, kids. So. Uh, it was very, I was proud of myself. I was out gardening in a park uh, at Rose Kennedy, I think, and it was fun. It was nice to do something else than sitting in, in the schools. How do you say jet lag in Danish? <laughs>
Which class was memorable so far? History class. Any any more comments? Um, culture class? Macroeconomy. Everybody has major set already, like you know what you're gonna study. This particular bell symbolizes the American Revolution, but it continues to be reinterpreted by people not only in our country but around the world. And it's known as the Liberty Bell. It's kind of amazing. Uh, uh, until now, I've tried a lot of things, and uh, it's fun. <laughs> it's kind of fun to see all uh, the new places. When I get back to Denmark, I would uh, definitely tell my friends how, uh, how cool a trip it was to get over here to see uh, new cultures and to see uh, the new kind of sports they do over here. We, didn't, we don't uh, practice as much back in Denmark and I will tell them uh, not to be afraid for new cultures because uh, I think a lot of Danish people are. And the mother country, one from benefactor to exploiter of colonial goodwill and resource. Another key factor is that the colonists here saw themselves as Englishmen, proud of their heritage, their history, and their culture. But in time come to believe that people in London, for example, looked down upon How's it going, recruits? Awesome, dude. Fantastic. Welcome to the Boston Duck Tours. Yeah, I actually uh, liked the Duck Tour a lot. Um, it was very fun to try, and uh, yeah, I didn't, I hadn't experienced that before, that you can go on a tour, sightseeing, and then you also like sail into the water. Yeah, I learned that uh, even though you're from a different culture, then uh, if people are from different cultures, they should be accepted. Because uh, even though they're wearing a different kind of clothes or they're eating different kind of food, it doesn't really matter because we also, uh, all of us are people and uh, we should all be living together in harmony. Imagine the possibilities.